Hey YouTube, Camper Van Kevin here. Well today, I'm at Jefferson Lake Campground in Rigby, Idaho. <laughs> Gotta be one of my most favorite campsites I've ever stayed at. And it is a campground. It's massive. It's huge. I'm the only one here. Gotta love that. <laughs> uh, stayed last night and there were two other campers. <laughs> Had this whole campground to ourselves and they were right side by side. I hope they were friends and traveling together because that would upset me. <laughs> but uh, yes, yeah, time to go. Um, went and met a uh, subscriber and patron uh, down in Idaho Falls. We went out to eat and had some uh, Japanese hibachi. Talk about good. Stopped, got some groceries. Then I got back late and the door was open to the campground, to the park. Uh, but no one was here. I couldn't find a drop box, so I got to go pay them this morning for my night last night. They let me stay in a tent site, um, $10. They got full hookups for 20. But uh, they've been shutting off all the water and stuff. A guy, he's been working like a madman since I've been here. Draining water, cutting off water so it don't freeze. They're fixing to close the uh, campground down. Well, there's nobody here, and might as well. Tucky ready to go? Where are we going? Whichever way the wind blows. Yeah, it's getting kind of cold around here. You think we should head to the desert? Man, I like the desert, but let's not go till we have to. Uh, that's kind of what I was thinking. Martini, how's your tongue? My tongue hurts. My mouth hurts. Yeah, I know, baby. But I got you, gave you your pain pill this morning. Got that big old ulcer off the bottom of your tongue. Where's that baby May Mays? Oh, there's that baby. I love me some baby Maymays. I love you too, Daddy. What a sweet baby. So last night, I had a problem. Uh, got down in the low 20s, and my little heater cut off. My buddy won't stay lit. The problem started, it's a brand new little buddy heater. I got it two months ago in Colorado. Very, very little usage. I mean, I might have run one tank of gas through it. I've been just trying to see how little I can use. But uh, while it's hooked up to a little greenie, it runs fine. Have you seen the prices of little greenies lately? Insane! Three fifty a piece for a gallon of gas? Coleman, have you lost your blankety blank 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 mind? Really? Okay. I just had to say it. Three fifty a piece. My my voice broke. Ah. Three fifty a piece. Get a two pack for six six fifty. I remember when they were a dollar. <laughs> and while we're on the subject, I paid four dollars for a can of uh, butane. I can cook for about three or four days with one. Uh, went to Walmart, two seventy nine. It is what it is. Everybody says, "Oh, you're complaining on your channel." Yeah, I'm complaining. It's too much. <laughs> now, little greenies. On a propane, on a little buddy heater, on high you get three hours. On low you get six. That's what I've been averaging. But I try not to run it. What I can do, I can leave it on pilot light all night. It gets me 20 degrees in my van. It sure does. And, but of course it's cheaper to run the bulk fuel. 
Here's my 20 pound bolt tank. And I think this is a five foot heater hose from uh, made by little buddy, Mr. Heater. And this will run for about five days on low. And of course you can refill these for 15, 17, uh, exchange them for 20 in most places. So of course, go to, he's waiting for my permission to go across that uh, Craftsman toolbox. So of course you want to run that 20 pound cylinder, right? Save the money. Lots of money. Well, little buddy states that with this hose, you need to run a filter. So let's make sure we're on the same page. I run a little greeny. My heater runs fine. Lately with a 20 pound cylinder, it's been cutting off. And I take the filter out and plug it up and run it. It's ran great. Bought a new filter. It ran great for one night. Next night, cut off. So I took the filters out. And it's been running great for about a week. Now it cut off. <laughs> Put the grainy back in. Runs great. So either I got a problem with my tank. Maybe there's something trapped inside the hose. I don't know. So instead of refilling this 20 pound tank, I'm going to go exchange it. Because that tank feels like it's got fuel in it. Not a lot, but some. Tucker, you're not a Yorkie. <laughs> Whatever. You are a camera hound. <laughs> man, oh man. So that's what I got to do. I'm going to leave this beautiful campground. My glasses at Walmart. They said to be ready in two weeks. I've been here two weeks. Called in yesterday, say, hey, my glasses are ready. It's going to be about another two weeks. What? Yep. That can't be right. Check with your manager. Two weeks. So they're just going to mail them to me. I love this area. But you know, you get that wanderlust. You got that mood. You want to move on. You got to gotta go. Don't think I'm going to head directly to the desert. Though once I'm in the desert, you know, I mean, it's beautiful. I love the desert. But I want to make sure all those creepy crawly Slytherin things are in their holes and buried deep. Because I know my babies, they're going to be out and about and I don't want them to get stung or bit or I don't want to get stung or bit. And I'm kind of enjoying the cooler temperatures anyway. So let's get the day started. Oh, and I'll keep you posted. May not be this video, but I'll keep you posted on what happens with my little buddy. If you've got some uh, ideas or opinions or whatever, uh, I've run them for years. I haven't run into this yet. So, I'm thinking there's something in that hose. I think there's trash in the hose. The greenies, the greenies are clean. Clean fuel. You get trash in these uh, 20 pound cylinders when you use the bolt fuels. Yep, I'm going to hate uh, leaving here. we got a big swim area. They say this lake's full of fish. I basically have my own pavilion. There's a river that runs over there. You can see it in my video where... Well, you see it in one of my later videos. I even had my own volleyball court. I found it right difficult to play volleyball by myself, but I gave it my very, very best effort. And I'm good. But volleyball is meant for two or more. Let's get this day started. Shoo, 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 shoo. I never really was much into sports. I was a baseball pitcher for a while. I wasn't any good. When you put me on a volleyball court, I tear it up. Don't want to play against me with volleyball. That's what I'm built for. <laughs> and you know what? I didn't get big until I got out of high school. What? That's right. When I graduated high school, I had I moved out when I was 16, okay? And I worked in a warehouse 50, 60 hours a week and took advanced classes. I got off early from high school in my senior year. Anyway, long story short, I about starved to death. 
it wouldn't have been for my motorcycle, I wouldn't have been able to afford gas to get to school. But I stayed in school, I had good grades. I worked at a place called Del Mar Window Blinds. My brother worked in the plant. He was a, a plant manager in his department. He got me hired on in the warehouse. I like to have, I worked myself to death. About starved to death. But anyway, when I graduated high school, I'm 6'5", 6'4", 6'5", 275. I need to be 240, 235. But it is what it is. I'm 6'4", let's say 6'4", 275. When I graduated high school, I was 6'1", 6'2", 141. I was hungry. <laughs> I moved into a house with a bunch of musicians in Athens. And uh, I was headstrong. You couldn't tell me nothing. I had to do things my own way. I've been on my own ever since. Always earned my way. But what I'm getting to is that people say, oh, you could have played some football. You bet I could. Now, well, in my 20s. I was a late mature. I matured late. I couldn't grow a decent mustache till I was about 30. Yeah. <laughs> and I know, hey, I know my beard. I know exactly where I stand with my beard. Most Probably the most pitiful beard on YouTube, but it's mine. And I always wanted one, and I'm going to have it. Not till I was mid-40s could I do anything with it. We're going to go with it. I never got to see it dark. Never got to see it dark. It always had gray in it by the time it started growing. Anyway. If y'all are headed to Yellowstone, y'all need to stop here. This is a good layover point. Y'all need to stay here and enjoy this place. Rigby. And it's right off 20. That's 20 right there in front. You don't want the campsites up there by the highway, of course. But look how many there are. Good place to go swimming. Good walking trails. Yeah, this is this is top ten stuff right here. Town's close. So the cell towers right there. Had the fastest internet I can remember having. On the road again. Like a band of gypsies, we go down the highway. We're the best of friends. Yeah, I still ain't learned the words. Na 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 On the road again. I don't mean to. I was thinking about while I'm driving on this lake. I didn't mean to make light of. I was hungry. Wasn't starving. But if it wasn't for 65 cent school lunches, I wouldn't have ate. That's all I could afford. Rent and gas. Insurance on my truck. I had a Chevy Silverado 77 model, trip, well, not triple black, it was black on black, it had three coats of limo on the windows, that's when it was still legal. And she was a pretty sucker, but she got 10 miles to the gallon. <laughs> a little half ton truck, 10 miles to the gallon. Thank the Lord for school lunches. That's all I ate. Just about, just about all I ate, that's the truth. I'm making up for it now, ain't I? <laughs> I'm making up for it good. All right. Well, it's a little bit later in the day. And uh, while I was sitting down there on my stool, I remembered something. And uh, I, meant, I meant to say it on video, but I got carried away with something else. <clears throat> so the other night, I was sitting there, and I had my little buddy heater sitting on top of the uh, the toolbox, trying to make it work. And I, I got to looking at the ceramic grate, little holes. I'm fixing to show you something you can't unsee. So, if you're easily spooked, all right? I suggest that you don't look at these pictures I'm fixing to show you. So, you were warned. 
You can't unsee it. See now, see now, you'll never, ever, ever look at your little buddy the same way again. It looks like a thousand little faces burning in ceramic propane hell. Hey, it is getting close to Halloween, right? Maybe I'm sharing it at the right time. But i tell you what, I, uh... Tell you what, little buddy, put a thermostat on your on your heaters, please. Pretty please. I've had about five or six now. Wore a couple of them out. Please, please, please put a thermostat on your heaters. I'll pay the extra whatever it costs. <laughs> Nothing like waking up two or three o'clock at night and it's a hundred degrees inside your van. <laughs> you know, I mean you can set it on uh you can set it on pilot light. Like I said, I gained 20 degrees. If it's 20 outside, it's 40, 35 to 40 inside my van. Thermostat worked great. Y'all are a big company. There are a lot of people that, that use these little buddy heaters. A thermostat would be a grand idea. I'll buy the first one you make. Yes? <laughs> but I'm, I'm going to get this... Uh, I'm gonna get this little heater sorted. It'll be all right. All right. I'm gonna leave Rigby, and I believe I'm gonna to head toward the Sawtooth Mountains. People, everybody tells me you gotta go, you gotta go. So I'm gonna go and try to beat the snow. I'm not ready to go to the desert yet. But every video's gotta end somewhere. So I'm gonna end this one right here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Y'all are not watching me, you're watching Tucker. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Hey, we'll see you again soon. You guys take care. Forrest Company. Bye. Tell them bye, Tuck. Let's see everybody later. Right on cue.